Welcome to Elderfit TV. My name's Tom, and today we're going to be doing a chair exercise routine, and you're going to love it. We're going to be working all the muscles and joints in the body. We're going to get your heart pumping, and you can go to your own ability with these exercises because you just get out of the exercises what you put into it. We're going to be doing roughly 16 exercises with a 10 second rest in between. We're going to alternate between sitting and standing exercises. If you find any exercises too difficult or you become out of breath, you can pause the video and move on to the next one. All right, so we're just gonna to get to it. We're gonna start off nice and easy. I'm gonna start my clock off. We're gonna be going for 40 seconds and we're just gonna start with leg extensions in the chair, nice and gently, just working through the legs, working through the kneecaps. We're thinking about our posture. We're sitting up tall in the chair and we're breathing when we need to, making sure we've got a nice steady rhythm and that's really good. Now, if you haven't already subscribed to our channel, please make sure you do. If you have, that's great. If you have any questions about this video, you can leave us a comment below. I've got to drop that in there every time. That's it, keep going guys, you're doing really well. If I'm going too fast, obviously you can go to your own pace, nice and gently. So we're going three, two, one. Now we're gonna slowly stand up and then we're gonna move on to our next exercise. It's gonna be nice and gentle again, three, two, one. We're just gonna come up and down on our tiptoes. Now, if you wanna use the chair, you can. I'm standing to the side of it so you can see what I'm doing, but imagine you've got a chair in front of you to hold. If you're a little bit wobbly, make sure you've got your support. We're just coming up on our tiptoes, big toe and second toe, and we're just coming up and down. You can control your speed to a nice tempo. We're halfway through, and we're working through the calves and the backs of the legs, and we're stretching up only as far as you feel comfortable with. That's it, good work guys, you're doing really well. Keep going. Three, two, one, and we're gonna sit back in our seats. Nice and gently, here we go. We're gonna go back down to the legs in three, two, one. So we're just gonna step out to the sides now. So we're working our hips. That's it, good work guys, really good. It's really hot where I am doing this video now. So if you're hot at home, make sure you've got yourself a drink. I didn't bring a drink for this one, so I may regret that when we come to the end. There we go, we're halfway through. If you wanna slow it down, you can. But like I say in all of our videos, just think about your posture. We're sitting up tall, we're keeping our tummies tight, so we take the load off our back. That's it. So we're gonna stand up again for the next exercise. In three, two, one. Okay, slowly standing up. Now we're gonna do the same movement. I'm just gonna move the chair over a little bit. So the same movement we're gonna be doing standing up. We're just gonna come out to the sides. So we're working the hips. Again, imagine you've got your chair in front of you if you need it. You can use that as a support. I haven't got it there so you can see what I'm doing in this demonstration. We're only going as far as we will feel comfortable. Now what I was trying to do with this video is I'm really trying to promote the standing up exercises because if you follow this channel a lot, you know we've got a lot of seated exercises. But if you have been doing them a lot, you should be progressing and you may find the seated exercises a little bit too easy to do now. So it really is important we start standing up and doing these exercises as it's a little bit harder because we're working against our own body weight. There we go, three, two, one. Okay, I'm gonna sit back down. Nice deep breath, we've got a 10 seconds rest. There we go. Three, two, one, and we're on to the next one. Nice, gentle one for you now. We're just gonna come back on our heels and raise our toes up and back down. So this is for ankle mobility and ankle stability. Imagine it like a suspension when we're walking over a stone so we've got more movement in our foot. That's it. Just taking your time, and when we lift those toes up, just hold them for a couple of seconds so we get a nice stretch. And then we're coming back down again. Good work, guys. Keep it going. Good work. Again, I always say we've got to be thinking about our posture. We don't really sleep forward or leaning back. All right, we're sitting up tall. We're holding our tummies tight. We've got three, two, one. We're going to stand up again, and we're going to do that same movement standing up. Now, I would recommend it if you're a little bit wobbly to hold your chair in front. All right, so three, two, one. We're just going to bring our toes up and back down. Up and down. Now it's important when we're doing these exercises, our turn side on, that we don't lean like this and do it. 
We've got to stand up tall as we're doing it. If I carry on like this, I can hold the chair and you can see me. I'm standing up tall, my tummy's nice and tight. That's it. I'm going nice and slowly. I'm only going as far as you feel comfortable with this movement. It's really good. Keep going three, two, one. Okay, we're gonna sit back down again. We've got roughly 10 seconds rest. Just move this chair back to the middle. Sitting up tall in the chair again. We're gonna move up to the arms. And we're just gonna come up in front doing a front raise. We're sitting up tall. We're only going as high as our shoulders. We're not going any higher than this. You're controlling the lift really slowly and then letting it down controlled as well. The longer we do this movement, the more the muscles are working because they're under tension for longer. We're halfway through. Now, if you regularly watch our videos, you know that if you want to add a hand weights to this, you can. Tins of beans. So it's entirely up to you. There we go. Three, two, one. Again, we're gonna stand up nice and slowly, pushing off the chair. All right, we've got three seconds rest. I'm gonna stand side on so you can see me again. I'm gonna hold the chair and I'm gonna bring my heels up behind me. So we're working the backs of the knees. Standing up nice and tall in the chair. In the chair, by the chair, I mean. And what we're doing, we're just controlling the lift. And when we're doing this, we're working the backs of the legs here the hamstrings and the backs of the knees. And these are all connected to the lower back as well. So it's really important to get them loosened up. It's good for your mobility and your flexibility as well, as well as increasing your strength in these areas. That's it, good work. Keep going, that's three, two, one. Okay, we've got a bit of a rest. We're gonna slowly sit back down, taking a deep breath. We are, ooh, we're getting through them quite quickly here. We're gonna go back up to the arms. And we're going now, we're just gonna come up to the sides, work in those arms again. Only going as high as your shoulders and no higher. And like the previous arm exercise, if you've got hand weights, you can use them, or a resistance band. So you're just adding a little bit of resistance to the movement. Much like, I like you guys progressing from seated exercise to standing. I'd also like you to progress from no weights in your hands to weights or some form of resistance so your muscles are working a little bit harder. You've got to keep those muscles guessing to make them stronger. Three, two, one. Okay, we're going to slowly stand up again. Just move that chair over. I'm keeping an eye on the time. Keeping hold of the chair if you need to. I'm bringing my knees up in front. Hold the chair if you need to. We're standing tall. This is a leg exercise, as you can see, but it's also challenging your balance, which is a very underrated thing that we need to work as we age, because our balance does get worse. It's also working the hips, which is part of our walking muscles. You may notice as you get older, you tend to drag your feet a little bit more. It's because these muscles in the hips here get a little bit weaker, so it is important that we use those muscles more. Three, two, one. Okay, we're gonna go back to the, the chair again. And we're gonna continue with arm exercises. Think about your posture again. And we're gonna come up to the arms and we're just gonna reach up like a shoulder press. If you wanna do one at a time, let's do one at a time. If you wanna make it harder, we can go both at the same time. Just stretching up through the body and the shoulders. Excellent work. We're halfway through. If you see me looking down, I'm just keeping an eye on my timings so I know how many exercises I've got left to give you guys. And we're just reaching up. That's it. Okay, we're gonna go into a hard one now in 10 seconds. It's called the sit to stand. You may have seen me do this in previous videos. So it's effectively standing and sitting in our seat and we're gonna do it really controlled. We're pushing through the heels and we're standing up and then we're slowly coming back down and controlling. We're standing up, pushing through our heels, leaning forward as we do, standing tall. 
and then really slowly sitting back down. When we sit down, the chair shouldn't move and you shouldn't be bouncing. This is a really good one. We use this movement every day, getting out of our seat, getting into the car, when we use the toilet. So it's a really important one to practice at home. I have got other videos on the channel with a little more detail on this exercise, but it pretty much explains itself. We're going, good work, nice and slow. Working hard and relax. Okay, we're standing up. We're gonna do the same movement standing up. It's a squat. I'll stand side onto the chair so you can see me. Toes facing forward, bending the knees. And what we're doing is we're hinging at the hips. So we're coming back, putting our weight through our heels. You can have your chair in front too if you need to. We're working the quads, the bum, the hamstrings, the tummy, the lower back. It's a fantastic exercise to work on. You're only bending those knees as far as you feel comfortable. Keep going, I think we've got three, we have got three exercises left. Let's keep going. Five seconds, four, three, two, one. Good deep breath, we're going back to our seats. We're gonna go back up and do an arm exercise again. It's gonna be the bicep curl, I'm taking a deep breath, I'm out of breath already, I'm feeling a bit sweaty. Palms facing out, clenching your fists, bringing your hands up to your shoulders and back down. Let's keep going. Again, if you want to add hand weights, you can. Excellent work. I'm keeping an eye on the timings. I'm going to introduce a new exercise we've not done for a little while on the chair exercises. We're going to go into a wall press up now. If you haven't got a flat surface, that's fine. You can skip this exercise or you can just do the movement without it. Okay, so we're standing up slowly. I'm gonna go over to the wall here. My hands are gonna be on it like a wall press, like a press up on the floor. We're keeping a straight back and we're just bringing our elbows tucked in, bringing our nose to the wall and back out very slowly. It's really important that we keep a nice straight back. And if you need to, Bring your feet a bit closer to the wall, it makes it a little bit easier. Now, if you haven't got a wall, you can just do this movement, a pushing movement. It's a really good one for the arms and back and triceps. Keep going. Three, two, one. Good, 10 seconds again, nice deep breath. We're going to sit back down, or oh, we're on exercise 16, the last exercise, but I am going to give you a bonus exercise after. Good work. So we're just going to punch out in front, going to get the heart rate up. There we go. Keep going. Your heart rate should be up a little bit from these exercises. I've got a bit of a sweat on, but it's really warm in here. I've got the sun shining on my left, my right side here. It's a beautiful day. Keep going guys, keep breathing. I hope you're enjoying this. If you are, don't forget to hit like, hit a subscribe button as well. Three, two, one. That's the end of the workout, but I'm just gonna add a little extra one on for you. We're gonna continue with the punch and we're gonna come up in the air. Keep going. And then we're gonna come out to the sides. We're nearly there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, five more, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. We're gonna move the feet, little march on the spot. I'm gonna to count to 20. One, two, three, four. You can bring your arms to five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Deep breath, good work guys. Whew, that was hard, sweating now. Hope you enjoyed that. I'm gonna do a little stretch down with you guys now. So just wriggle forward in the seat. If you need to get a drink before you get into this, go and get a drink, pause it and then come back. All right, so we're just gonna bring our right leg out. We're gonna hold the stretch and we can lean forward a little bit, get more of a stretch on the back of the leg here. And we're just gonna hold it. And then we're gonna swap over 
If you want a more extensive cool down stretch, I'll put a link up here and you can hit the link and check out our longer stretching videos and mobility ones, which are good for warm ups or cool downs. And then we're gonna come back, we're gonna sit up tall in the chair. I want you to bring your hands behind you in the chair, just bringing your shoulders back, hold the stretch, we're looking forward. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you find that a bit too hard, there are other kind of easier seated exercise routines you can do while we're only in the seat. If you're kind of transitioning between sitting and standing, which is the progress I try and talk about you guys doing, there are other routines on the channel where it's just standing exercises and you can try those ones out. They're in the playlist, so you can check those out. All right, we're gonna move up to the shoulders. Nice and slow, we're breathing as we do it. I'd also like to point out we've got a really, really good ebook you can check out. It's got lots of exercises in. We're really proud of it. The link's below, it's totally free. Uh, you just can click the link and download it. So be sure to check that out. And if you have already downloaded, let us know in the comments below what you thought. Okay, we're gonna relax off, good. We're gonna bring the right palm of the right hand here to the right shoulder. We're gonna walk our fingers down our back and support the elbow. Then we're going to change sides. Coming back down, just moving up to the head, looking to the left very slowly. And then we're coming back to the right. And then we're going to look forward. We're going to take a nice deep breath. We're just going to stretch up with both of our hands, coming out to the side. And you guys give yourself a clap. If you made it all the way to the end, you should really give yourself a little pat on the back. And be sure to check out our other videos. I'm sure there's something on there for everybody. I'll see you all again very soon. Bye now.